What's going on guys, it's me Plasky Games here and today I'm fetching you guys with a Q&A Now before we get into the video I want to say sorry to you guys and that apology is for not uploading much and the content I am producing is just match day vlogs um, Speaking of match day vlogs, I got pulled at the towel match the other day like, so uh, I can't do the home games anymore apparently Don't ask me why I've been pulled the last game of the season because I don't know but she didn't say anything about away games so you know away games, we're doing them but the person who has stopped me from doing them is indeed leaving at the end of the season so I will be doing them next season if I get permission to off the person that is gonna do her duty which was like, you know, I don't know her myself but you know, I work in the office and she's the one that caught me so, yeah Heading to the first question of the Q&A Do you reckon that Manchester United will win the league next season? Personally, um, I'm gonna say no but I reckon we'll get top three. Would you ever daily vlog? Now, I probably wouldn't daily vlog, but I maybe would make daily videos, like fetch the game and back. As I said in previous Q&As, I live in a lake district, the weather here is absolutely appalling. So yeah, um, daily vlogs, probably not. But daily videos, if you want game and back, it's a possibility. What do you hate about football? And what I hate about football is players are underrated, and yeah, they don't get chance at their teams. I hate a few things actually. I hate watching a match that finishes nil-nil because you just feel like you've wasted two hours of your life right there. And I also hate matches that get piped up for ages. Everyone's getting excited for them. So I'm going to use this as an example. Manchester United versus Manchester City 2015. Me and a few mates were here at my house. Like, there was about 10 of us. We had it planned for ages. We were going to watch the match. It was shit. It was nil-nil. And I also hear overpaid players, like, I mean, like, yeah, Wayne Rooney, he's went back to Everton, but 250 grand a week, yeah, that is too much. Like, here's us normal people getting about, you know, about £400 a week, if that. Um, well, some of us get more, some of us get about 900 a week. Like, this is actual full-time adults, but well, here's a footballer, 250 grand a week. Yeah, some people have to work about six years for that. Why did you start YouTube? Now if you are new around here, I have said this in a lot of Q&A's I started YouTube as a hobby because my mates did it and I just enjoyed it and now I enjoy making videos basically like near enough every day in my life but I just have decided to take a little break from it Favourite Super League player and why? Oh my god I'm not saying this because I'm a Wigan fan but it's probably got to be George Burgess um, George Burgess it's probably got to be George Williams, basically, because he's kicking game. We all know that partnership between him and Joe Burgess is absolutely amazing. And yeah, George, uh, yeah, George is just absolutely amazing. Out of all your friends, who would you rather put a massive shot on in rugby? Uh, sorry, TJ, but it's you. <laughs> just to confirm, I asked for questions before the Kaku signed for Man United in this question here. You have three signings to make this year at Manchester United. Who you haven't? Now, yeah, I would have Lukaku as one of them. Basically, he's ripped shit up in the Premier League and we've all seen it happen. He's an absolute amazing player. He's broke records a lot. Since the age of, like, 16, I believe it is, he started playing professional football. Another signing I'll make is Rafael Varane. I think he's underrated at Real Madrid. Well, there's not much pipe around him because they're like the likes of Sergio Ramos, Pepe, yeah, them types of players. Now, I would take Rafael Varane, fetch him into United, give him more game time than he deserves. And yet, yeah, people might know his name in the end. Now this one might sound a bit strange, and I know he's literally just joined Everton, but if Dav De Gea leaves, well, I know he's not leaving now, but if he does ever leave in the future, Jordan and Pickford, I think he's an absolute amazing goalkeeper, underrated at Sunderland. I mean, I think he got player of the year at Sunderland, yeah, as a goalkeeper getting player of the year, that will be hard. But yeah, I will take Jordan Pickford as well. Do you have parents and will you do a face reveal of your parents? Now, most people will know who know me personally, I only live with my mum. I've only met my dad about five times in my whole life and I am 17 and a half. So yeah, I've only lived with my mum. She's been in one of my videos in my old channel. No, she's been in um, about two, maybe three videos in my old channel. But yeah, if you want to see her, just go to my old channel. And she probably will be in a video in the future, which I've got planned. I'm not going to say anything where it is, there's only one person out there that knows what I'm doing and that video is next month, but um, yeah, 
Um, she'll get her first reveal on that. When and how do you think you're gonna die? Mid 50s to be honest, and I just think I'm gonna be in a car crash because like, you know like, loads of people do it. They've walked out in front of the road, never even noticed the car coming and someone's pulled them back. Yeah, that's happened to me loads of times, so I just think I'm gonna be in a car crash. And, well, I'm gonna be a pedestrian walking the road and next minute, car comes, wipes me out because I weren't looking. Have you ever met fans? If so, what is the strangest spot you have met one? Even though we're just short of 400 subscribers on this channel, I actually have met fans. I've met quite a few. As you guys will know, slip and slide video, yeah, there's like 13 of them right there. But um, yeah, I actually have met fans in like different spots, like out of Cumbria. The strangest one though has got to be when I was at Blackpool, I think it was 2015, Summer Bash? Yeah, I think it was 2015 Summer Bash, I, I don't know, it was 2015 or 2016, definitely. But um, yeah, my mum was in the chip shop and I was outside having mine and a fan just walked past and said, can we have a picture? And um, I was like, yeah, yeah, of course you can. But I was just in the middle of eating my dinner, so yeah, that was a strange time to like meet a fan just outside a random chip shop in Blackpool. <laughs> When is the slip and slide meetup and also will you do more meetups such as rugby and football videos? The slip and slide meetup, I'm gonna wait till kids are out of school, so I'm gonna wait for a lovely day and I'm add me on Snapchat so you know when the video will be coming so you guys can get involved, just fetch some fairy liquid and water and yeah, that would help us like stop going to the shops and spending loads of money because trust me, slip and slides. We spent nearly about £150 in two videos. But rugby and football meetups, I probably would do them. Um, not a rugby match, because I wouldn't be responsible for like, injuries. But yeah, I'd probably do a football match, because there's less chance of getting injured. But rugby match, no, I don't reckon I'd have one. Maybe stop rugby, or tag rugby, but not full on contact rugby, as I would not be responsible for any injuries going on. What are your favourite types of videos to watch? Honestly guys, it used to be gaming years ago, but now it's just daily vlogs by Roman Atwood, Tanner Bronga, Tanner Fox, Jake Paul, Logan Paul. I mean, I've got loads of daily vloggers that I watch and I like the videos like taking the piss videos and the one that I like the most for them is Ryan Franklin. Honestly, last week or the week before, he's about 30, 32,000 subscribers, no maybe 35,000, something like that. And now he's on 45, like, you know what, about 8 days later. That is just amazing, his channel's getting more known and I'm happy for him. I've watched him for like a year and he has struggled getting subscribers and more known on YouTube. And yeah, now his channel's taken that boost and honestly, he's going to have 60k by the end of this month. Trust me, you heard it here, he will have 60k by the end of this month. What is your worst fear? Honestly guys, my worst fear is actually heights. I know a lot of people say height, but yeah. If I'm like 10 foot in the air, I'd still be like shitting a brick basically. <laughs> Interesting story, um, as you will have seen in some of my football videos, there is like a crate thing behind in the, in the background of that. And me and my mates were up there once and it took me half an hour just to hit down. <laughs> so yeah. How tall are you? Uh, I don't know my specific height, but Jordan, who you've seen in most videos, is 6 foot 8, and I'm about there on him. So I'm gonna say I'm about 5 foot 10, 5 foot 11 and maybe even like 5 foot 9, something like that. But yeah, I'm not that tall in person. I'm probably the, one of the smallest out of my mates, but you know, yeah. How old are you? I'm 17 and I'm 18 on December the 7th this year. If you were to have kids, how many would you want and why? Now, if I had kids, um, I'd probably want three kids. And uh, yeah, basically, so they can keep each other entertained. And honestly, I would buy the family a house with a garden put football nets or rugby sticks like in the box, just little ones and yeah um, they can go outside and like just like you know play with each other and stop annoying me so yeah when you play for Phoenix Steel who are your three favourite players? we had a goalkeeper called Luke Riak he was absolutely amazing kept us in games made us win games as well and yeah Luke would be my, one of my favourite players turned into a centre mid at one point and honestly he used to score goals as well but yeah Luke was one of my favourite players Another one of my favourite players has got to be Owen Hoyles, he's like, it was like a captain kind of, even though he didn't have the captain role, he would like, get you motivated, get you back into the game, say if you're like, yeah, like starting to give up kind of, he'd be like, oh, well, keep your head up, keep your head up, and all that to every single one of us, he'd score goals at vital moments, and I think on his debut actually, he actually scored the winner in the 90th minute, and uh, yeah, 
Um, Owen would be one of my favourites as well. Another one of my favourites would have to be Matty Fraser. Basically, he's like, he's little but he was quite strong. He used to bully people off the ball, he could score goals, he knew how to pass the ball properly. And um, yeah, honestly, he'd just get along with the whole team basically as well. And he would not give up at all. He got man of the match like the majority of our last season. What was your favourite thing to do other than YouTube as a kid? And my favourite thing to do would honestly be getting from school, go straight to the park, play football with my mates till like half eight at night. And yeah, um, that was when I was about, I'd say from the age of seven till about 14 or something like that. Um, maybe even 13, I don't really know. But yeah, that's what I used to do basically every sunny day, is go to the park, play football. Would you rather find out how you're going to die or when you're going to die? That's an interesting question that, but personally, I would find out when I'm going to die. So I know how exactly long I've got left to live, and I could get everything done that I want to do in that space of time in my life. If you were to support any other Premier League team other than Manchester United, who would it be and why? This is an easy one for me, it would have to be Newcastle United. I've said in previous Q&As, I used to go to Newcastle matches as a kid, and I've been about... Oh, I'd say I've been about 11 Newcastle matches and one of them was against Man United and Wayne Rooney scored, or Ronaldo, it was one of the two, scored a volley and no, it's not the volley you're thinking of that became famous, it was just a volley from like a corner and um, yeah, it was like maybe 10 yards out, not the Wayne Rooney spectacular 30 yard volley but um, yeah, I celebrated in the Newcastle end and I think I nearly got my granddad killed because I was wearing a Man United top and a lot and yeah Basically, it would have to be Newcastle as I used to go to their games. Anyways, guys, that's the end of the Q&A. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to drop a like if you did enjoy. It's been me, Plasky Games. Um, peace. I really need to start uploading more other than Q&As and match day vlogs.